Well, I've been a fan of Coco's for, um, you know, since the 80s when I first saw that book that had pictures of her with her kittens, Coco's kittens, and, you know, just the images them of this, then of this massive, powerful animal cuddling these cute, gorgeous little kitties so gently and playing with them and, you know, sleeping with them. And um, it struck me so remarkably. And then, you know, learning that she knew over a thousand signs and communicated so fluently in sign language and understood spoken English so well. Um, I always fantasized about meeting her and I really wanted to play for her and see how she would like that. Yeah. So good. That's kind of nice. Coco. This, this is the greatest thing that ever happened. <laughs> this is this is the day that I will never forget in my life. Um, it was just a deeply emotional, like everything that, that I could have hoped it would possibly be. It, it was more. Um, we really connected and became friends and cuddled and laughed and you know played games and. Um, I played for her and she loved it and she played the bass and I showed her all about it and how it worked and she was just fascinated and interested and really paid attention. Yeah, those are the nuts. Well, because these turn too. You don't want to turn them too much because then it knocks it all out of tune. It was a great, uh, you know, Looking in Coco's eyes and feeling that level of understanding and compassion and gentleness and curiosity um, was just great. It's really hard to to describe the, the feeling. It was, you know, deep.